Hi, welcome back. For our next activity, we're going to be learning about igneous rocks, and we're going to be making some igneous rocks that, of course, we can eat when we're done. So for this experiment, what you're going to need is you're going to need a graham cracker, some M&Ms, one uh, cupcake holder, and you want to make sure that this is not one of the flashy like aluminum ones because you cannot put those in the microwave. So please make sure it's paper, okay? And you're also going to need some marshmallows. I've got some big giant marshmallows, but you can use the tiny marshmallows as well if you would like. You guys may be wondering, what are igneous rocks? Well, igneous rocks are made from volcanoes. So, you've got a volcano here. And then when the lava comes out, <laughs> nice lava, right? It, it's going to go down here, and you have the lava, and you have little bitty rocks in it. And they all kind of come together and they melt. And then when they cool, that is an igneous rock. So how we're gonna show you that in this experiment is you're going to have different rocky elements. So that's where your graham cracker, co cracker comes in. So you're just gonna kind of smash up your graham cracker So you'll have little bits of graham cracker here in your cupcake holder. And then, so those represent rocks and different minerals. We'll open it from the other end. And then, these are some of your other rocks that you have on the ground. And you're just gonna put them in with the graham crackers. And your marshmallows are going to kind of serve as your volcanic matter, so your lava. So you're going to take these marshmallows, and if you have the tiny ones, just throw them in there. If you have the big ones, you're going to have to kind of break them up a little bit. And one of the reasons you might want to use the tiny marshmallows is this can get really sticky. So once you have everything in your cupcake holder, you're gonna to go to your kitchen and you're gonna find your microwave. So you've got your microwave here. You're just gonna open up the door, stick your cup, you wanna put it right in the middle of the plate so it has nice even coverage. And then you just shut your door and you can do the 30 second setting or if you don't have that setting, just punch in three, zero, and then hit start. You might notice that it's growing real, 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 real big, so you could always open your door, take a look at it, see what it looks like. So, ooh, that's going to look really, really cool when it's all done. All right, now we're going to close it. We'll start it back. All right, it's always so much fun to watch this stuff in the microwave. So after it's done, you want to let it cool for about three to five minutes, okay? Because it does need to harden so you can get a real good idea of what an igneous rock looks like. So don't touch it and let your grown-ups do this part, okay? Because we have to think safety first. All right, so now that your igneous rocks have cooled, if you have a paper plate, that always comes in handy. You're gonna put your plate down and you can see how all of this has like fused together. So this is now a piece of igneous rock. See, it's a new, it's a whole new thing. There's your rock. A couple of those crumbled at the bottom coming out, but here's your rock and now feel free to eat it. Might be a little sticky, but that's okay. If igneous rocks or earth layers sound fun to you and you wanna learn a little bit more about them, we have books at the library. So we have a book on igneous rocks. We also have a book about the layers of the earth, which you might enjoy. We have some rocks and minerals, and these are some other science and earth experiments that you can do. So if you like these experiments and you want to do more, check these out. We also have a book on geology, which is the study of rocks. And we have the science of rocks and minerals, the hard truth about the stuff beneath our feet you would love this book. It has lots of cool facts in it. 
So you can give us a call and pick some up in our curbside service.